Today is the day of my eighth grade graduation. Only a year prior, I watched my beautiful older sister prepare for her graduation, cap and gown, hair done, looking self-assured, a smile on her face. I painfully revisited these memories as I sat on a picnic bench, watching over my little sister at her second grade graduation. I am not smiling or wearing a cap and gown. I am devastated because I am 13 years old and I'm not graduating from the eighth grade. Prior to this moment, I had become immersed in the child welfare system. CPS had removed my sisters and me from my mother's custody because of physical, mental, and sexual abuse. First, I was placed into children's homes and eventually into the home of my father. My dad's house hadn't had electricity in months. There was no food to eat, and traveling from home to school was now a 14-mile journey. In these moments, I didn't know what was worse, having to steal all my meals or trying to sleep in a dark group home over the sounds of children crying for their parents. Needless to say, I was no longer focused on school. Eventually, I was placed into foster care. Many former foster youth have traumatic memories of abuse and neglect from the very people trusted with their care, but I am not one of them. Instead of contributing to the wounds of my childhood, being in care allowed me to begin the process of healing them. Now I'm 24 years old and preparing for another graduation. Only this time, I'm attending it. I'm not just graduating for the first time in my life. I'm graduating with honors as one of the student commencement speakers. In cap and gown, I will walk away from the podium with a huge smile on my face. <laughs>